Light My Fire, a 20-year celebration of the doors, is being brought to you by Nissan Cars and Trucks and by Coppertone Lotion and Spray Oil. Once again, welcome back to our salute to the 20th anniversary of Light My Fire. I'm Bob Cranes, and coming up in this hour, we'll hear from longtime Doors associate and biographer Danny Sugarman, as well as producer Paul Rothschild. We'll also be getting to world premiere music from the Hollywood Bowl, as well as these Doors classics. People are strange when you're a stranger. Faces look ugly when you're alone. Don't you love her? Ray Manzarek. When we first started out, he wouldn't even face the audience. He turned his back to the audience. Of course, there wasn't really anybody in the club anyway, so thank God it didn't matter. The London Fog was just sort of a little beer bar that would have an occasional businessman, two sailors, uh, one prostitute, and a band on stage, and we'd play to this sort of this semblance of, of humanity. It, it was ridiculous. We had a go-go girl directly across from us, the lovely Rhonda Lane. Rhonda, I hope you're listening. And she would dance go-go songs to our son music, which I thought was ridiculous because we didn't play that kind of music anyway. When the crowd uh, got big at the club or filled up on an occasional Friday or Saturday night, it was very hard for Jim to turn around to face them because when he had to face them, he no longer was directing inwards towards us. He had to direct his energy outwards. But little by little by little, the man got the hang of it, and then he started to love it. Because then the teeny boppers started coming by. The foxy little chicks on the Sunset Strip all said, Jim, we love you. And he said, hey, hey, I've never, I've never had such reactions from women before. I love this, man. This is what I've been born to do. Love me two times, baby Love me twice today Love me two times, girl I'm gone away Love me two times, girl One for tomorrow One just for today Love me two times I'm gone away Love me one time Do not speak Love me one time Yeah, my knees got weak Love me two times, girl Love me all through the week Love me two times I've gone away
said it's uh it's like the feeling of a bow being pulled back and an arrow let go after 22 years of uh, strenuous pulling and then finally that arrow is let free to fly across the universe and boy he just blazed a trail man like nobody else people are strange when you're a stranger faces look ugly when you're alone women seem wicked when you're unwanted Streets are uneven when you're down, when you're strained. Faces come out of the rain when you're strange. No one remembers your name when you're strange, when you're strange, when you're strange. People are strange when you're a stranger. Faces look ugly. When you're alone, women seem wicked. When you're unwanted, streets are uneven. When you're down. When you're strange, no one remembers your name. 
When you're strange, when you're strange, when you're strange. People are strange from strange days. When we continue, we'll hear from Danny Sugarman and Paul Rothschild, and we'll be going back to the Hollywood Bowl. Hi, this is Robbie of the Doors, and our 20th anniversary salute to Light My Fire will be right back. <laughs> Welcome back to the 20th anniversary salute to Light My Fire. I'm Bob Cranes. Danny Sugarman was 12 years old when he first saw Jim Morrison and the Doors. By the time he was 14, he was answering fan mail for them, as well as keeping a scrapbook on all the press they generated. Since that time, Danny has been responsible for two books, No One Here Gets Out Alive, the Jim Morrison biography, and The Doors, The Illustrated History, based on the scrapbooks he kept. I personally regard The Doors, Illustrated History as the sequel to No One Here Gets Out Alive. I originally was going to write my own history on the doors as I saw it. I decided not to do that and let the people tell the story that were there. I mean, I don't want to read what I wrote. I want to read what other people wrote on the doors. This is the book that I want on my coffee table as a longtime doors associate, as uh, what I think one of the biggest doors fans around. No One Here Gets Out Alive was Morrison's story. This is the Doors story told by 50 different onlookers and uh, 75 different photographers. Tell all the people that you see Follow me Follow me Tell all the people that you see, set them free. Follow me down. You tell them they don't have to run. We're gonna pick up everyone. Come on, take me by my hand. Gonna bury all our troubles in the sand. The wonder at your feet Your life's complete Follow me down Can't you see me growing? Get your guns The time has come To follow me down Follow me across the sea Where milky babies seem to be Molded flowing revelry the one that set them free Tell all the people that you see It's just me Follow me down Follow me Follow me down Tell all the people that you see Will be free Follow me down
people say, what's five to one stand for? First, it's a line from Marlene Dietrich within Joseph von Sternberg's movie, The Shanghai Express. The gambler says to the priest, five to one, we don't make it. Uh, there's stops guards on, on, on the train. Anyway, so I thought, uh, you know, uh, backing up, so they, they say that, and my reaction is, you know, come on, kid, look at the title of the book. It's no one here gets out alive. It's not, you know, Mr. Mojo Rising in Africa, you know. And then they say, well, why'd you say still no word from Mr. Mojo Rising? Why'd you make it look like you could still be alive? I don't make it look like anything. All I do is say, here's the versions of his death. I don't know which one it is. Nobody does. Now, you know as much as anybody else. You decide. I'm not saying he's alive. I'm saying, here's the facts. Here's what I know. This is as much as I can dig up. You come to your own damn conclusion. Five to one, baby. One in five. No one here gets out alive now. You get yours, baby. I'll get mine. Gonna make it, baby, if we try. Waiting for the sun, that's five to one. 
That album, like every Doors record up to L.A. Woman, was produced by Paul Rothschild. I went to the Whiskey, they opened the show. It was Doors and Love in the same show, right? I stayed for the first set. There was very few people in the club. And I looked at the band and I said to myself, this is garbage. It's not only garbage, it's badly played and badly sung garbage. Well, you've always said, give an act two chances because the record company always hears the worst set. Always. If you travel to a town, you get to hear the worst set the band has ever done. If they know you're there or not. I stayed for the second set and I heard some of the most brilliant, chilling, amazingly played music I've ever heard in my life. So in one evening I heard the doors at their worst and the doors at their best. Come on, come on, come on, come on, now touch me, babe. Can't you see that I am not afraid? What was that promise that you made? Why won't you tell me what she said? What was that promise that you made? Come on, come on, come on, now touch me, babe Can't you see that I am not afraid? What was that promise that you made? Why won't you tell me what she said? What was that promise that you made? Paul Rothschild's full-blown production adorns Touch Me from the Soft Parade as we celebrate the 20th anniversary of Light My Fire. Coming up, the end, like you've never heard it before. Stay with us. Welcome back, I'm Bob Cranes. Glad you could join us for our Salute to the Doors. On July 5th, 1968, the Doors played a triumphant show at the Hollywood Bowl. It was significant because it took place in the Doors' hometown. Now, we'll see that concert released on home video later this summer. Drummer John Densmore sets the scene that night as he drove up to the outdoor amphitheater nestled at the base of the Hollywood Hills. I can remember driving up to the bowl, driving behind, sort of, before we got around behind the shell, I remember seeing 
the entire audience out there. You know, God! You know, and, uh, they uh, were lighting matches half of the time, and so it was really spectacular. As you can see in the film, we had the lights on all the time, and uh, there's this riff at the end, in the song the end, where Jim's trying to get them to turn the lights down, and it's pretty funny, because they wouldn't turn them down, you know, and he would not let up. Come on, turn the lights down. Turn them way down. Hey, Mr. Lightman. You gotta turn those lights way down, man. Hey, I'm not kidding. You gotta turn the lights down. I don't know, I had the feeling he might split. That, okay, you know, come on, Mr. Lightman, turn the lights down. You know, you'll hear him say it over and over. And then for a minute there, I thought, he's going to walk off stage. Then what will we do? Then we'll walk off, maybe. And then they'll turn the lights down. <laughs> oh, what a weekend. This is the end. Beautiful friend This is the end My only friend The end Of our elaborate plans The end Of everything that stands The end No safety or surprise The end I'll never look this house and there was a sound like silverware being dropped on linoleum and then somebody ran through the room and they said have you seen the accident outside and everybody said hey man have you seen the accident outside Yeah. 
I think I'll open a little shop, a little place where they sell things, and I think I'll call it Grasshopper. I'll have a big green grasshopper out there. Have you seen my grasshopper, Mama? Looking real good. Sonata, the dog crucifix, the dead seal, ghosts of the dead car son. Stop the car! I'm getting out! I can't take it! Hey, look out, there's somebody coming, and there's nothing you can do about it. Took a face from the ancient gallery and he He walked on down the hallway, baby. <laughs> and you door He looked inside. Take a chance with us 
Come on, baby, take a chance with us. Come on, baby, take a chance with us. Meet me at the back of the blue bus. Meet me at the back of the blue rock.
the end from the Hollywood Bowl, world premiere Doors music, as we pay tribute to 20 years of Light My Fire. When we continue, the Doors rebound from road hassles to make L.A. Woman. Welcome back, I'm Bob Cranes, and this is the 20th anniversary salute to Light My Fire. This is John Densmore. If Jim had some words, um, and usually he had a melody, uh, just to remember the words he said, and he'd, he'd think of a melody to hang the words on. And, you know, he didn't know anything about chords, he didn't play an instrument, so he would sing it, and then Ray and Robbie would kind of, well, I think it's in G or whatever, and fool around with the uh, the chords a little bit, and I'd say it's in 3-4 four, or 4-4, four, four. it's a shuffle or a waltz or whatever, and then we kind of hack through it, and uh, I think one of my main things was arranging, since I too didn't know that much about chords, uh, being a drummer, but I 
I played music a lot, and so I had a feel for. Okay, we're bored. We got to we got to go to a bridge, or we got to modulate, or do something here because it has to change. You know? So that was one of my things. I want to tell you about Texas radio with the big beat. Out of the Virginia swamps, cool and slow with plenty of precision, and the backbeat narrow and hard to master. Some call it heavenly and its brilliance, others mean and rueful of the Western dream. I love the friends I have gathered together in this thin route. We have constructed pyramids in honor of our escaping. This is the land where the pharaoh died. From L.A. Woman, that's the Wasp. When our salute to the doors continues, we'll get to Riders on the Storm and a world premiere rendition of Light My Fire. Stay with us. (laughs) 